Hello everyone! Welcome back to a brand new video featuring the pets. Within the last month it has been quite stressful for us and the animals as we had a lot and I mean a lot of visits to the vet for many different reasons. So today I'd like to talk about the big adventure they have had, especially Buffy who has had a major operation on her gallbladder. Back on 21st of April, which was actually my dad's birthday, I noticed Buffy had some bright blue colour in her teeth, which was unusual, but we first shrugged it off. Till I told my dad about it and my dad panicked and told me he put rat poison underneath our garden shed a few days ago, which is the exact same colour I saw in Buffy's teeth. So we had to take Buffy and the kittens just for caution to the vets to get them checked out and so the systems can get cleared. Thankfully, due to how recent Buffy had rat poison, we managed to tackle the situation well. So we thought we were clear, but two days later, Teddy suddenly like became ill, he was lifeless, and he was very, very out of character. Therefore, he had to spend most of the day at the vets, and he was on a trip. Apparently, he had a fever, and he was also very dehydrated. It was actually irrelevant to the rat poison, thankfully but he was sick a lot before the rat poison situation so a few days ago before the rat poison situation he was actually sick over something so he must have ate something he shouldn't have had. Thankfully since then Teddy has been a lot better and we don't have any more problems with Teddy. So on 7th of May Buffy had to stay at the vets overnight um, this was because she was sick and she lost her appetite. This started off where she ate a chicken bone and we thought the chicken bone must have got stuck somewhere in the system but we actually found out Buffy had all sorts wrong with the system and she was very very ill which actually really brought me and my parents hearts because she was really poorly. She had all sorts wrong with her, she had a virus, her system was bad and we had no idea what was wrong with her basically. But because of how young Buffy is, she's actually five years old, we wanted to find out and we wanted obviously to tackle the situation because she's a young dog. So a few days later on 12th of May, Buffy had an ultrasound and we found out she had a case of gallstones, which um, is actually very, very crucial because it can cause your gallbladder to burst at any time. And with experience, my mum has had um, gallstones three years ago and she has had an operation to get it removed because it was very bad. We had two options for Buffy and we definitely went with the option to save her, regardless of the cost. It did cost a lot, a lot of money, but thankfully my parents were able to afford it. Two days after her ultrasound, she had an operation to remove her gallbladder. And it was successful, which was really great. Although it was the worst case that the vets have seen, because Buffy's gallbladder apparently burst some point after her ultrasound because during her ultrasound her gallbladder was still fine but during the operation her gallbladder was burst so some point between the two days her gallbladder must have burst and I do think it was actually on the day before her operation because she was eating a little bit again so it might have given her some a bit of a relief. It actually was the best timing we had the operation because Buffy was saved on time it was a miracle. She was saved and we got very, very lucky. We did get told that Buffy would have to stay a few nights just to see how she recovers because there could be an infection or also that might happen after the surgery because usually it takes about a couple of days to see how an animal recovers after a surgery. That's the Buffy. It took her only a day. A day. So after the day of her operation, Buffy was already ready to come home. And my dad told me and my mum the news and we were both so shocked and emotional that she was already able to come home. It was honestly a miracle with how Buffy fought through this so well and the operation was nothing to her basically. She's she's only a five year old doggy and she's proved it she's proved everything wrong. It was a miracle, honestly, because we're so used to having bad luck in the family. As you can see, we have lost a few pets recently. So we were kind of scared of losing Buffy too, but we didn't lose her and the fact that Buffy fought through it all is amazing. Ironically, on the same day, Teddy also got neutered and it will be his last trip to the vets for a while. He was not happy with us about it, but we needed to get him neutered so we don't have additional kittens to the family. 
Ever since Buffy's operation, she has been back to her normal self. She's been wagging her tail, eating again, even barking. Just seeing Buffy being normal again and happy, it means a lot to us because she was acting so, so off it for the entire week when she was sick. And she now has to go on a low fat diet because she doesn't have a gallbladder now to digest her system properly. So we gotta be really careful with what she eats now because we don't want to have another situation like that again. Buffy is a wonder dog and I cannot express how thankful and grateful we are to have her well again. So this is kind of why I think it's important that you should have your pets checked often. We had no idea Buffy had a case of gallstones and we don't even have any idea how long she had it for basically but because we got it on time it it was it was a good luck situation basically. Anyway I will show you more of the pets in another video. In this video I kind of just wanted to talk about how Buffy is a survivor and how she tackled her gallbladder situation especially with the rat poison situation as well that was kind of a big tackle as well. So. Thank you so much for watching and please look out for your pets, animals, whatever animal you have. See you later guys.